hi everyone welcome back to my channel i'm kim from kim's homestead living i'm a jamaican and this is my jamaican homestead where i try as much as possible to grow my own food um i may not be able to grow everything but i grow what i can also if you're new here please remember to like share and subscribe so the intention for this video is to show you what's happening in my garden so it's may 2023 i have a few things going on so i'm going to be walking you through everything so stay tuned all right so i'm starting from my very driveway i'm um, going right down it's weeds that need to be you know that needs to go but right here i have a little patch of tomatoes and it's a mixture between the cherry tomato and plummy tomato so yes even in my driveway guys all right so right here now i have my patch of corn they're looking so healthy so i'm anxious to get some corn from this so moving on from that now we have all right so we have some potatoes irish potatoes in pots um they are drying down so it will be um it will soon be time for them to harvest i'm seeing uh, like some very unique insects here i'm not even sure what those are so i'm not even sure if they are um destroy the plant or not but anyway um so hopefully by the end of may into the first part of june i should be harvesting um these pots of potato so i have eight pots here but five i will be harvesting soon the other three probably in like what you call it now july or so so these are irish potato that i planted in containers so moving on from that now so yes guys the place is very bushy at the moment um it's like the more you weed the more they appear i'm not sure if you understand and because we've been getting so much rain but anyway despite all that i have my celery these looked beautiful two months ago or a month and a half ago they don't like the heat period but they are still pushing up they're still fine this is my oregano i have quite a few i also i i sell these as well i propagate and sell oregano plants it's looking very beautiful it has a thyme scent you know skeleton and thyme if you're a jamaican you know yes it has that scent to it so you can pretty much season your meats or whatever um without your vegetables right here is my patch of cabbage um quite a few of them are ready to harvest um some have not folded but uh at least i get a little right and i do plant surplus vegetables to feed my chickens as well because they love the vegetable and they give me quality eggs when they do eat the vegetables so moving on from that right here i have a sweet pepper plant that i had from last year and it is still bearing fruits and i'm truly grateful for that and over here i have my jalapeno so it's not loaded with pepper but peppers are there all right it's looking good all right this now is my banana pepper this is just a very tiny one i picked two big ones the other day but i will show you what they look like on another plant that i have somewhere in the yard these are more pepper jalapeno and this one oh this is a nice size jalapeno right here it's looking really good and this one is a uh, looks like a cayenne pepper so coming down here now let me go over this side Woo! it's quite a few things and i'm going through as fast as possible so as i said there are weeds everywhere but i'm going to come through that's a task in itself 
So here I have some spinach. These are the Bloomsdale spinach. I like these for salads or if I'm eating with, you know, my dinner or so. Because they taste a bit different from the Malabar spinach that has a little bit of slime to it. But this one it doesn't. So I like this one. It's doing pretty well. I planted these out the other day. They're doing good. They love water. Right here I have more pepper. So I have pepper plants in and around the place. I have my rosemary, my mint, two different types of mint. That's another one right there. Looking very bushy and luscious. Alright, here I have three cabbages. They look like they're ready as well. So I'll be harvesting those. So you're probably wondering why they look like that so many holes right yes caterpillar cabbage worm you best believe they can cause a lot of damage yeah so sometimes they traumatize me but i'm not going to let that discourage me from growing my own food here i have my endives first time planting this variety of vegetable it's a type of it's from the lettuce family i'm not sure how it tastes but very soon i'll be trying it and they are growing i realize they grow pretty slow the leaves are very like thick they're a little bit thicker than a, than the usual lettuce leaves but they're looking very beautiful they're looking very beautiful they have a little red burgundy looking color um, right here now I have and you're wondering right um, that's my colored greens I have quite a few plants in the yard that's another patch of colored greens so those have been there from last year and they're still giving me food so opposite that now I have some Swiss chard and I got the rainbow Swiss chard so it came with seeds um, that are red yellow and white so it's the three colors that are here all right so they're looking very pretty all right here i have my sunflower that is pushing up its head can't wait to see that here now i have some okra i love okra so i had to plant that so they have a long way to go before i can start harvesting along this line now let me show you going down i have lettuce so here i have my my bib head lettuce and here i have my red salad bowl lettuce it is so pretty and then here i have my paris island romaine lettuce so they're looking pretty good um they need some fertilizer I can see some yellowing and some spots in the leaf um trust me you'll be surprised to see if you don't take care of the vegetables you won't get any all right so on this side now i i am a, a little bit disappointed i'm not even sure if i'm going to be getting like a head of red cabbage um, because they are they don't really love the heat but they're there if they don't form their heads i'll just call it the leaves just the same and and have them right but i'm still hoping for the best and i'm having some serious caterpillar problems right here yes <laughs> all right so let me just go down a little bit i have some of the some more of the bloomsdale spinach right here i've been harvesting from these and they're pretty good omelets and um what you call it now soups salads you can have them right so here i have this is a kale that i've always wanted i've watched several um youtube videos homesteaders they have the dinosaur kale i'm like i have had to get my hands on some of these seeds they look so pretty and yes i have a bit of damage from caterpillars as well but they're still looking good 
right here is another patch of cabbage that I have so I have a few heads that I can harvest soon so much caterpillar damage people cabbage worm but still doing good I have those to harvest so I'm going to be showing you when I'm harvesting those so on the same side now I have more of the dinosaur kale or the lacinata kale coming up right there so they're looking good um damage from worms just the same but that's how it goes here i have some string beans they're sending up some flowers so very soon i'll be seeing string beans on the plant so these are string beans going down the line all right and over here now i have another variation of colored greens this one is called the maurice head colored greens so i have two varieties now growing and i'm anxious to see how this one will, um, will taste so yeah oh in the middle right here i have interplanted some lettuce so that's the red salad bowl lettuce and the red romaine lettuce right there and that's a little small dwarf sunflower and i can see the head pushing up right there so i'm practicing also the companion planted method in my garden here is the banana pepper now this plant is loaded look at that all right and i have more around here and i also have more string beans right here So opposite that now, I have, these are the yard long beans. I need to urgently set up a trellis for these because they have started to send out runners. And in between here, I just planted some lettuce. So I make use of my space as much as possible. Here I have more sunflowers coming up. All right, here I have my green peas, sweet peas. They're looking very good. All right, so the place is very bushy. I said that before. So filled with bush. But here now I have some more string bean. I have more colored greens and I do have more caterpillar damage let me not emphasize more on the caterpillar damage I have more ochre right here same over here now these have grown let me show you they have grown and that's another patch over there all right and then over here now those that you're seeing they are kale and they're looking very beautiful so that's my second kale patch and i'm working on another one i may have to plant the others in container all right so i'm walking through this section where i have where i have my okra and i'm seeing even some baby ones some flowers coming up let me show you Yeah, they're already pushing up okra. I can't believe it. Mm -hmm. And then right here is my lovely patch of arugula. They are looking good. And arugula is a lovely vegetable to have in salads or soup or anything. Your smoothies. Alright. So coming over here now. This is my another lovely mint bush it is spreading all over the place but i don't mind i love my mint tea then over here now remember i showed you the smaller version of the red salad bowl lettuce now this is what it looks like when it's maturing it's very pretty 
it has a red burgundy greenish look and i just love to see it so some of this i can actually harvest very soon to eat i do sell some of my produce where i can but it's not that much but yeah persons who are interested so i'll sell some over here i have my red romaine lettuce they are looking good except for the fact that i'm seeing some spots on the leaf so i'm not sure if it's a fungus or a disease or what it is but um i'm gonna see what i can do about that but it's looking good just the same so i'm going to go around to the another <laughs> I'm just going to go around to the other section right now to show you what I have going on. Alright, so this is one of the beds that were newly built. And I planted out some lettuce, two types of lettuce in this bed the other day. Uh, most of them are looking pretty good, just the same. Um, so, yeah, so it's just two variations. The red romaine lettuce and the butter crunch lettuce. So they're pretty young. They're in the young stage. So they're coming up. Over here, I have my Swiss chard. I'm not seeing any colored ones in there. So this is just the one with the white stock on it. So it's looking good. Have some damage, but it's looking good just the same. And I have sunflower that is about to open soon i have another one all right so i did plant some i did plant some what you call it on watermelon and cantaloupe so let's see how those are doing i'm really hoping for the best so this is a section with my watermelon honeydew and cantaloupe they seem to be growing pretty well the soil is pretty much a mixture of compost, goat manure, chicken manure. So um, I'm hoping that with additional fertilizer, I will actually get something from these in the summer. Say around in August thereabout. But they're looking pretty good and I'm seeing blossoms already. So I'm feeling good about that. Right? And I, I have some sweet potatoes growing in bags. So I'm just going to show you that as well. And after that, we're going to look at my tomatoes. So this is my sweet potato that I'm growing in two bags. So it's two. So that's one bag and another over here. So what you should understand is that when you're planting root crop, it's always a gamble because you don't know what's going on Um in the soil but it's looking very healthy from what i'm seeing the leaves are looking very healthy it's not looking pale or yellow or anything to say that it's lack um nutrients so what i did was to put the some dirt um manure in the bag bore some holes at the top uh, cut some bottles so i can water it from the top like that and i just put the slips in the bag and it's growing really well so i can't wait to see what happens from that all right so here i have some celery this should be the long utah celery that's a thick stalk the one that is thick you have the chinese celery which is has a very tiny stalk so i'm hoping i got the right seeds they're growing pretty well. Once they're getting adequate water, they'll grow fine. I need to weed out the area, but yeah. Don't think that homesteading is a little bit of work. It's a lot of work, <laughs> especially when you're working with a decent sized backyard. So right here, I have my tomatoes. I'm seeing some blossoms. Um, if you had watched my previous video, if you hadn't, please check it out, where I was planting tomatoes and celery. So. These are what the tomatoes are looking like now. Very healthy. Right? So I'm seeing blossoms. Um, these are bamboo that I spit in four. And I'm using them as support for the plants. 
so I should get some strings to tie them soon so the more they feel supported I guess the more they will produce I'm hoping um, there's one thing I'm concerned about though if any of you know what's causing this on the tomato plants please share it in the comments all of a sudden I realize the stems are getting brown so I'm not sure if it's something eating it from below that like the roots are so but you can let me know because you know when you put out all that effort and you want to see something oh and in between as well I planted some some lettuce so yeah and they provide some amount of shade for the lettuce all right here I have more lettuce here I have just two cucumber plants there's actually a cucumber on this one and there's one on this one are you seeing the size of that that's one fat cucumber and I think it has more right there and it's pushing out more blossoms oh yeah I have two more cucumber plants right there so they're doing all right so wow you're probably saying that's a lot yes it's a lot but i i like i love doing it i enjoy every moment of being in the garden because i know i can step outside and harvest something to eat right so it's such a beauty despite the challenges with pests and probably some diseases on my lettuce and so it's still a win right so thank you so much for tuning in i hope you enjoyed the video if you want to continue seeing contents like this please hit that like button share it and tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend to please subscribe so take care until and enjoy this lovely view